Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I wanna to show you how to put together a shaker. So it's gonna be super simple because it's just the six, but it's basically the foundation of shakers. So whether it's in a, so you can kind of see, whether it's a 3D letter or it's in, I mean, this isn't a cake topper, but it's more of a milestone thing. So it's for kindergarten with a note, but the shaker is inside. So it doesn't really matter, like I was saying, is whether it's a big thing, a cake topper, or in this case, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it, but it's always gonna be the same. Basically, you have your foam layer, right? That's gonna give you the height that you need to store whatever you want inside. So sequins, glitter. So sometimes you're gonna need maybe double foam if you wanna put something of more like substance. Right now, we're just gonna be putting in like little, um, confetti it's super thin so this is going to be perfectly fine so really if you think about it what you need is you need your foam layer and you need one or two um two of your acetate layers so it's going to depend this is going to be a clear shake top, um, a shaker so really once i enclose my foam with the two layers of acetate so you can see it's top and bottom so you close it then you will have well i need this inside um then you would have the inside of the six for all your sequins to you know play around in right and that would be this is all you need and then you would put your top layer on right obviously you're not going to have a um you're not going to have just a foam layer like that so you could have this, or if you want a um, not a clear background, then you don't need the bottom layer of the acetate. Um, you would need, I don't know if this is the right size, but you would need cardstock or something to hold the back of it. So the difference is like this one has a back, right? So it only has, so it has the back of cardstock, then your foam, and then your acetate, and then that encloses it. Um, same thing as this. So this one will be a clear one. So we're gonna get started so that you can kind of see that. I'm gonna leave this here so you can see all of that. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to put um, tape on the bottom of the six so that we can enclose, so we can have a, um, I guess a stable piece to pour everything in is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> struggling here all right so I'm gonna I like to use the Tombow double-sided tape I feel like it really seals it in for me so I'm gonna do the bottom layer of the six so I want to make sure that I get tape on every square inch of this thing of the foam And I'm not really sure where I'm putting this yet. Um, as you can see, I'm knee deep in American Girl doll theme. Okay, so this is my six. I think you can see it better here. Okay, so here's the acetate layer. This is my foam layer. So I'm gonna put it on top. And then I also need this little guy here. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna um, get my tape all the way around. And I have a maker, so I cut this on its foam and it uses, um, it uses the rotary blade. Okay, so I have my top on. I'm gonna open up my little glitter. I wonder if I can open this easily. Okay, here we go. And you say, can you see it? It's so cute. So you wanna fill this up because um, when you don't have a lot in there, it looks really sparse. So I'm gonna have some colors here. 
And then I'm gonna add sequins. Sequins is the easiest thing to add. I mean, I'm sorry, glitter. So I'm gonna pour this. I'm not gonna actually pour any. Oh, I didn't like that white. I'm gonna see if I can pick it out. I thought they were stars, but they're not. They're little flowers. Okay, take out as much as I can. And then I'm gonna pour some glitter in. And since the top is blue, I'm going to get that the red that we're seeing. And I haven't even opened this yet. Ugh. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. Ah. Okay. And I'm gonna put these stars back in. And then what you wanna do now is we're gonna put, we're gonna put the layer of tape on the top so that we can put our top layer of acetate in. So we're basically making a sandwich, right? The foam is in the middle and the acetate is the two uh, slices of bread. So on this one, and I'm just gonna move in these little items a little bit. You have to get a really good layer of the tape going as well to seal it up. And this is gonna be a little bit hard. So what I like to do is I like to move my um, the glitter around to areas that I'm not working on. And it's getting kind of difficult, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish this off. I'm gonna turn on my glue gun. And I'm gonna finish off where I couldn't get it with my glue gun. And what's nice about this piece is we can put this on and see where it's leaking and finish it off with the glue gun. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of the blue in here. These pieces are so small. I'm getting it everywhere. Okay, almost there. Okay, now with the acetate, or the, yeah, the acetate layer, you just wanna put it down and, let me see if I have. I wanna get a little bit more right here. So actually, I'm gonna try to use this glue where I have a little bit more control over the glue. Okay, and put this down. And you just want a good seal. Then we're gonna put this on top. And then we can trim around. So that foam layer was horrible. I did not do a good job with that foam layer. Okay. So with this foam layer, let's see what, how much we can cover with this. Okay. We're gonna put that on top and then we're gonna put this on top as well. And there you have your shaker of the six. So I'm gonna trim off a little bit of the foam I didn't get it exactly where I should have. So I'm gonna trim that off and then it's gonna look really, really good. So I, I was thinking of putting this on one of these straws as well. Like that. 
All right, so I hope that was helpful. I will see you next time. Just let me know what you think. If you have more comments, uh, questions, I will see you next time. Bye.